Okay, hi everyone. So today's vlog is going to be about my uh, diesel heater that I fitted into my boat a few years ago. Now obviously I can't show you the video of me installing that as I wasn't actually doing YouTube then so obviously I didn't film any of it. But what I have done is took some of the panels off the side of my boat and photographed it all and I've dug up some photographs from back when I originally installed it as well and I'll talk you through basically how I fitted this diesel heater into my boat. Okay, so here's the heat as it came in its packaging. Now there's a few items that need to be replaced to make it suitable for use on a boat. And here's my finished install. Now the exhaust I routed out of the bottom of the unit, up through the side of the boat, and I covered it in this fiberglass heat wrap. It then went out of the side of the boat through a brass skin fitting. The air filter was quite simple, I just cable tied it to a bar that went across the boat. Now I drilled a hole in top of the fuel tank and inserted a new pickup pipe. The fuel line then routes round the engine bay in a copper tube which replaces the one that came with the kit because it was of rather poor quality. I also replaced the fuel filter as the one in the kit is plastic and that is not allowed for boat safety. The fuel line then goes into the fuel pump and then finally into the bottom of the unit. The air inlet I ducted off the front of the unit and then through the side panel into a little duct so it didn't suck in air from the engine bay. Now I drilled a hole in the bulkhead and ducted the tube straight through there and then fitted a directional vent on the inside of the boat just under the gunnel. So to prime the fuel pump press the two bottom buttons and the screen will say H off. Press the up button and it will say H on and the fuel pump will start pumping fuel through the line. Once you're happy that it's reached the heater you can switch it off by pushing the down button. When you first get the heater, the temperature is controlled by the fuel pump hertz. To change this, simply press the two top buttons and it will switch to the temperature in the room. And you can adjust this by pressing the up and down arrows. Okay, so I hope this video has been helpful to you and maybe if you plan to install one of these yourself, then maybe this has given you a few ideas of how to do that. Anyway, if you've liked this, then please like and subscribe and hopefully I'll see you very soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.